Hey everyone, Vincent here from VincentWin.com and today in this video, we're going to get to know the After Effects interface. Now you're probably just a hobbyist who just got their version of After Effects, you know. You just open your After Effects and it looks very complex at first, it looks very complicated. I felt the exact same way when I opened After Effects for the very first time, but now I think of it as a very easy to navigate through, very easy, comfortable workspace to navigate and experiment through. And hopefully, I'll get you to the point where you'll think that After Effects is very easy to use, similar to iMovie or Windows Movie Maker. And hopefully, you'll be more confident to experiment with After Effects because it's a very great program, very diverse. Once you get to know the basics of After Effects, it's pretty much free sailing from there. And hopefully, I'll get you to that stage, the series of After Effects tutorials for beginners. And hopefully, you won't have to purchase a Linda training series tutorial that will cost you know quite a bit of money. It's it's worth it though if you want to purchase a Linda training series for After Effects. But this is a free alternative, and hopefully I will be just as good as the training series program. But this is After Effects by default on the default workspace. I'm using After Effects CS4, but if you're using CS5 or CS3, it's very, very similar. Not much has changed with the graphical interface. And so this is what After Effects looks like when you first open it up. On the left side of here, you have the project media panel where all your assets are stored. So if you import any audio, any media, any footage at all, it's going to be stored right here in the projects media panel. It's basically an archive of all your stuff that's involved in your projects. Now, the first thing you want to do is import things to your projects. So you can either import things by double clicking in the project media panel. It'll bring up a browsing dialog where you can import files or you can go to file, import, files and you can import files that way preferably I like to double click on the project media panel it's more convenient that way and you can import things a lot faster so let's go ahead and import this blurry objects MOB file as you can see after effects gives you a basic description of your footage right here it has a title name the resolution duration and the codec it used to you know render and compress this footage right here very convenient very basic now the second thing you need to know is that After Effects can create compositions. And compositions are very similar to sequences in Premiere. They're basically subcategories of a project. So in Premiere, you know, you have a whole bunch of sequences and you combine the sequences together in order to make one final sequence or one final movie. After Effects is very the same, it's very similar in After Effects, except it's called compositions. So in order to create compositions, you can either go to composition, new composition, or hit control N, which I prefer to do using hotkeys. And over here, you get the composition settings panel. You can change the composition name to whatever you want, maybe scene one. You can change the width and height, the resolution, the aspect ratio, the frame rate, or the duration. Whole bunch of options. We'll go in more detail on this on a later tutorial. Hit OK. And basically, you have a blank composition. You can also create a composition very fast with the same footage you have, with the same settings, by directing your footage into the new composition button right here. Doing so will create a composition with the same duration, same resolution, same aspect ratio. Pretty much create a composition the same as your footage right here. So as you see here, we have our live footage preview right here. You can see the preview up here. And as we scrub through it, you see that our footage is kind of choppy. That's because After Effects is not like Windows Movie Maker or iMovie. It takes time to render because we're going to be doing a whole bunch of effects. We're going to be applying so many effects to it, so many keyframes, animation, motion blur. We're going to be doing so much here in this panel right here that After Effects is not strong enough to just render it out on the fly unless you have an extreme beast computer, but it's quite normal to ramp preview. Notice that if I just hit play, it's really choppy. And the alternative to this is RAM preview where it's going to pre-render things out and render it out for you to see in real time. So the RAM preview button is right here on the very last right. If you hit the RAM PV button, it's going to start rendering it out. This is not real time yet until you click. If you click, it's going to play in real time. And it says right here, real time. So it's a really quick way to, you know, see your live preview on, on how your work is turning out to be. And it's very, very convenient. But again, we're going to go in more detail on this on a video, later video tutorial. Down here, as you can see, we have all of our compositions right here. We have their blank scene one composition right here that we created a while back. And we have our blurry objects compositions that we just created. And so right here is where all of our compositions are stored as tabs. This is where, you know, all of our layers are stored. So we can, you know, create a new layer and maybe just name this BG. And as you can see, you know, this is where all of our layers are. 
You can stack them on top of each other with a hierarchy similar to Photoshop. And this is the timeline where we do most of our edits, keyframes, and everything. Again, we'll be, get, we'll be going more in detail on this on a later video tutorial, but this is the timeline right here where we make our edits. You can also trim things up. Just to let you guys know that After Effects is not a video editor. We do not do major edits in here. We do not combine our footages together here and you know create our movie in After Effects. It's a post-production program for visual effects and motion graphics. So just to let you guys know, if you want to cut things up and edit things together, combine clips together, you do that in a video editor program like Final Cut Pro or Sony Vegas or Premiere. Well, if you're on the right side, we have our basic, you know, characters pan out right here where we can create text. You can go to the text tool up here, the letter T, click it and click in the video preview panel. And you can type your text, whatever you want, maybe text 01. You can highlight it, control A and click on the color. You can change it to whatever color you want, maybe to a nice white color. Uh, so you can change the font by going over here, you know, pretty much a basic panel for your text, your kerning, your lighting, all that stuff. And on the right side right here, we have the effects and presets where all your effects are stored. Now you can scrub through the whole scroll and see all your effects, or you can go to the effects tab up here and, you know, select the effect that you want. Make sure your layer is selected and you can browse through all the effects. But preferably, I like to use the effects and presets where you can just search what you're looking for, like vector blur, just type that in, and you should get your effect right here. It's a lot faster, more convenient. And if you know what you're looking for, then I highly suggest you use the effects and presets panel right here. Let's go back to your effects and presets and go to your characters. But basically, that's pretty much after effects in the long run. This is the toolbar up here where you'll make basic camera moves, pen tool, masking tool, text tool. Again, we'll be going in more detail in later tutorials, specifically on each one of these eventually. But this is After Effects 101, and you'll be learning more about what you can do with After Effects in later tutorials. We'll be taking a look at how to animate things, keyframe things, apply visual effects, you know, create basic motion graphics, apply color correction. Basically, all this is gonna be covered in the AE 101 series, so don't forget to check out the later video tutorial. If you wanna watch part two, click on the video description below and click on the part two link where you'll be forwarded and directed to the second video tutorial of the series. But this is pretty much AE 101, episode one on the graphical interface. Very basic, but as we progress to the later tutorials, it's gonna be more complex and you'll be more comfortable with After Effects. Hopefully you liked it. This is a remake of a previous one because I feel like I didn't do a good job of it last time. But hopefully this one's a little bit better and hopefully you'll be more confident with After Effects so far. So thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to check out my website at vincentwin.com. It's pretty much my personal blog and archive where, you know, you'll be seeing a whole bunch of inspirational stuff, you know. I post a whole bunch of freebies from all around, all around the web. I'll be posting video tutorials all around the web. I already have a whole bunch of posts on there right now about, you know, tutorials across the web. So inspirational stuff, freebies, everything like that great content right here and you know give you updates on news about what what's going on in the industry or what's happening what is you know red giant software doing what is harry frank doing what is kramer doing all this will be posted right here at vincentwin.com check it out bookmark it there's a whole bunch of freebies as well for beginners so if you want to check out the products and look under the free products tab as well as the free product files you know you can experiment so many things on my website so go ahead and check it out vincentwin.com look in the video description thanks for watching guys and hopefully we'll see you next time in a later video tutorial.